Hi everyone, it is September 17, 2018. At the start of this video, I'm going to say right now that everybody, everyone needs to be a citizen journalist. Every, every one of you, you need to get out, take video of what is happening in your area particularly those in eastern South Carolina, North Carolina, you need to let us know what is going on. Last night, at, or early this morning, it was like 2.30 in the morning, I see this mainstream media article, catastrophic flooding soon to come to North Carolina and eastern South Carolina, your rivers will be overflowing and well we all know that they can cause the catastrophic flooding at any time they want with the with the technology that they have today and I also saw articles like Wilmington is cut off cut off from well cut off from the world um, catastrophic flooding spreads across North Carolina and Wilmington is cut off. Well, that really concerns me and it, well, my concern increased when I saw this video posted by Logic Before Authority and I'm going to play it. Listen. Now Myrtle Beach and, you know, I heard this local government official in a video talk about Myrtle Beach. Everything that I've heard from subscribers and everything that I've seen on webcams, Myrtle Beach has been fine. And when you think about these coastal areas that, are, that have not been hit hard by this uh, massive hurricane, the reporting on it, a hurricane like we've never seen before. The coastal areas have not been hit hard, but inland areas have been hit hard. That should beg questions. But this really begs questions, this video that Logic Before Authority posted. Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. To get right to it, um, this, this uh, hurricane in, in South Carolina, North Carolina, something is seriously up. They know something that is going to, that's happening, happened, or going to happen. Um, there are streams of emergency vehicles streaming into, well, actually the Horry County area, the areas of Conway, Myrtle Beach, uh, Loris, Georgetown, well, that would be Georgetown County, but there are extreme amount of emergency vehicles all headed this way. And I, I've got some video here I'm going to share with you of the vehicles coming in and you'll hear some commentary by the, by the video maker. Uh, so take a listen. So there you had it. You notice she said a few different things. What they've done is they've shut down the they've shut down the freeways, and there's nothing but miles and miles and miles of of FEMA 
and emergency type vehicles coming in to North and South Carolina. I generally would think, in the past, I would think, this is great. They're coming to help. Thing is, is that we don't need any help. So what are they coming for? I mean, most everybody is fine. Is something is up, guys, big time in South and North Carolina. I don't know what's going to go down, but this is making me really nervous as to what's the agenda, what's the plan that uh, that these guys are coming in by the hundreds of vehicles they've shut down the freeways guys it coming into the county i'm in uh i'm gonna try to dig and get some more information and i'll share it with you but uh i may i may just yet need to get the hell out of here i'll update you and let you know what's going on Okay, so I will link below to Logic Before Authorities video and um, subscribe to find out what is happening. We absolutely need people, honest people, to let us know what is happening. Now, I posted a video last night and mentioned that Helene, you know, do you guys in the UK get hurricanes? Um, but you have this hurricane coming at you, this massive storm. And fortunately, I got comments from those who live in the UK or Ireland, Ireland, and they are saying that they're going to let me know what's going on because we cannot count on mainstream media. And it is very concerning to me. You know, I thought to myself, how the hell am I going to know what's going on in the UK when I can't even figure out what is going on in the state that I am living in. Every everything that I've heard about Myrtle Beach, it was absolutely fine. Well, some areas um, did get a little bit of flooding. Electricity was off, but now you see all of these emergency vehicles. Well, when you see that Wilmington is cut off, cut off Wilmington, North Carolina. It, based on everything that we know, that's very concerning. And then you think about what we don't know, then it becomes even more concerning. Now, I got an email from a subscriber who lives in North Carolina, and I couldn't believe the email today because it was shame on you for making light of this storm. I've never made light of any storm um, or any weather event. I don't make light of events that destroy people or destroy um, life itself, the trees, the animals, whatever. What I was pointing out was mainstream media and our government officials, including our president, they were reporting on this storm and the report was not accurate. But I have said in virtually every single video that we should be very careful about how we comment claiming the entire storm is just fake and no one has suffered consequences that's not true there are areas that have been hit hard and you know i don't know about how americans listen to what is being said so many are just clueless about nuance and they just hear what they want to hear I guess but based on what I have seen this flooding yeah you see pictures like this and 18 dogs were rescued by a woman in North Carolina soaked and shaking even what we are seeing even what we are seeing in the flooded areas, and I'm going to show you just a few minutes of like these drone, the drone footage. Um, 
this, how it is that our mainstream media president could have said that this was going to be another Harvey, it, it still, I have not seen um, Harvey-like drone footage. And there are pictures. Where is it? Uh, here it says, you know, people were forced to flee their homes due to the flooding. And they left their animals behind in cages. Well, Wilmington on the coast of North Carolina. You weren't forced to flee and frankly you had plenty of time to protect those animals and I don't understand people but uh, here are pictures okay and I see this on uh, pictures on mainstream media and now I, I question everything this is this is the result of having so many liars in our country. It's the result of that Weather Channel reporter who is pretending like the winds are so extreme and then you see two people just walking by and they're not, you know, uh, trying to hang on because the winds are so strong. And that's why I get really upset about the lying. And I do get upset about people exaggerating. And I do get upset about people who are, you know, um, who have lied to me. Because now I'm left with, you know, I, I how do you trust anybody? And trust is so important. My God, why don't people understand that? So... I look at this picture and my first thought was, is it an old picture from a, a flood somewhere else? They say this is Pollock's View, North Carolina. All right, well, we need that verified. Everything, everything we need verified. And when I say that we need things verified, it does not mean that I'm saying you didn't have a flood in Pollock's View. I'm saying that because of the condition of our country, we just need everything verified. And some of these pictures are pretty extreme. I never said that flooding would not occur. In fact, I think my first video I said was, while we are showing, you know, the lies of mainstream media, that it was not a hurricane, that the reported winds were a lie. I said, you should take this very seriously because whatever they want to accomplish here, they will because they have the technology to create tremendous destruction. Now, what should be begging questions in everybody's mind is how is it that this hurricane that was reported to be um, no one will be left unaffected. How is it that it just flooded these spotty areas? Now, if this is a current picture of this storm, this is a chicken farm that is inundated with flood water in Trenton, North Carolina you're looking at a lot of toxic water. What about the hog farms? My God. So this has 607 pictures of North Carolina. And based on what I see of all of the drone footage and the pictures, not too many homes were flooded. There were tornadoes that can be created they have the technology to whip up a microburst and then mainstream media is going to report it as a tornado. Um, 
and they have the technology to create tornadoes. So I never once said that, you know, I never once made light of this storm. I see pictures like this, and I see this man, and I'm like, man so I need to understand what's happening I need every one of you in South Carolina and North Carolina to be leaving comments I need you guys if you are able to get out there you know to get to these areas to find out if they're really cut off you now they're saying Wilmington is an island now cut off and then you hear all of these emergency vehicles and FEMA going into these areas. We need to hear from people to either verify what is being said or let us know that what we're hearing is not quite accurate. I am very concerned. I want to hear from my Western North Carolina subscribers. Please report in, leave a comment. One in particular, if I don't hear from her, I will know she lost electricity. And I don't like not knowing what is going on. But I will say, you know, the catastrophic damage while not as widespread as they reported, there has been catastrophic death. It's a catastrophe for anyone who loses their home, who, you know, has to replace an awful lot. Um, but it's not just Wilmington. I'm hearing that major interstates are closed off. 95 and 40 and I heard 700 roads were closed off in North Carolina now these trees are coming down so easily now because because of all of the disease that you can actually see on the trees you know so where are our arborists who are posting their videos saying, you know, all of these trees are diseased. Their immune systems are weakened. So they would come down, you know, with little wind. But a lot of the areas, what I'm seeing are the homes themselves don't seem to be sitting in water. There are some homes sitting in water. Please don't misunderstand me. But we need to also keep in perspective that the flooding that we're seeing in North Carolina in no way resembles Harvey. That does not mean that I'm making light of what is going on in North Carolina and, and Eastern South Carolina apparently had a lot of flooding as well. Hog Farm, Trenton, North Carolina. When I see these pictures, I think to myself, great, all of the fertilizer and pesticides and the toxic waste, the feces overflowing. So, you know, I will I'll link below to um, the articles and the videos here, Wilmington, with roads leading in and out of the city underwater and streams still swelling upward. Residents waited for hours outside stores and restaurants for basic necessities like water. New, Hano New Hanover County 
which is the new burn area that did get hit hard. Uh, they're planning for food and water to be flown into the coastal city of nearly 120,000 people. No access to Wilmington. Our roads are flooded. All right. Any of you near Wilmington, you can drive down, take video of what is taking place, try to get access into Wilmington, let us know that you can't. Video would be the best way because, yeah, how do you, I, 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 I don't even, the video is the best um, proof. Muddy Waters swamping entire neighborhoods miles inland. Angry Waters. Now, we saw, you know, homes in Harvey that had water right up to their second floor. And that flooding was so widespread. This is a flooding that is so spotty that it really does beg questions. So as you can see, some homes were flooded. Some cars flooded. But to suggest that Wilmington is completely cut off. Okay. That is uh, really concerning to me. So I will link below to everything. And here is a video with this guy. Um, Yeah, Florence has made Wilmington, North Carolina, an island cut off from the rest of the world. Drone army ready to swoop in. Energy companies. Energy companies are allowed to use their drones to swoop right in, but it was banned for any ordinary person to use a drone to find out what's going on. When we have all of these, you know, pieces to a puzzle that we're trying to figure out, which is an accurate assessment of what's going on. That's the puzzle, accurate assessment. And they won't allow ordinary people to um, use their drones so that we can actually see. We have to, we have to trust the authorities. That's not good enough for me. Energy companies are involved in the weather modification. What, are they using their drones to assess the damage they caused? And there is, there was another video. Um, this one, just a few minutes. Uh, that area, joining us now, Republican Congressman George Holding. Congressman, can you give us an update uh, from what you saw over the weekend and, and, and how things are going right now? Well, things are looking better, but I have to tell everyone that the flood levels will continue to rise um, on numerous rivers throughout the east. Um, through, they don't expect flood levels to peak until Wednesday. The, um, the Cape Fear will continue to rise. The Little River um, will continue to rise. The, um, the noose, I believe, is beginning to go down a bit, but uh, the flooding is still a serious, serious problem uh, throughout North Carolina. And indeed, as we go to the western part of the state, um, there are a lot of roads closed there from flash flooding. And um, the governor has also warned that uh, to be on the lookout for mudslides in the western part of the state. Is the All right. Well, they can easily create mudslides. All they need to do is, you know, direct those extremely low frequencies into 
you know, a mountainous area and shake up the uh, ground. Then you get a little bit of rain and voila, you have a mudslide. All right, I'll say it again. We absolutely need to hear from all of you in this area to let us know what is going on. What is going on? Please. When I hear Western North Carolina, I am thinking about those subscribers that I have. So, you guys in Western North Carolina, please leave a comment. Thank you so much for listening. All links are below.